So I wanted to kind of come on here and ask a question as well as kind of give a bit of an answer myself. But I wanted to ask basically, you know, what is the appeal to a lot of fans when it comes to the, you know, Applejack and Spike, you know, relationship, or basically the ship, if you will, in general. And my personal take on it is, I think it's because, you know, Applejack is, you know, looked at as sort of a more realistic, down to earth, you know, kind of uh, character. And that Spike, you know, being the helper that he is and being basically that, you know, unknown element, if you will, of harmony that is willing to help out others. I think it's because of all that, that a lot of people look at them and pretty much figure that, you know, if you're going to ship any characters um, in any capacity that, well, basically, you know, these are the two to do it with. I mean, one thing that a lot of people point out, of course, is Spike at your service. And pretty much, you know, to them, that's where a lot of the evidence kind of shows. Like, you know, Spike is determined to pay Applejack back for saving him. And Applejack, out of the friendship, saved him because, you know, that's who she is. She's willing to help people and even go to a distance to keep them safe. You know, even if it means taking, you know, something like the Timberwolves and having them go after her instead of, you know, them going after Spike. So I think it's because of all those elements, both of them willing to help others. And one of them, of course, being like down to earth and, you know, just kind of like a realist, um, if you will, able to, you know, reel people in, reel others in and kind of make them see the, um, you know, the error of the ways or, you know, kind of be, well, basically be honest with them in the long run. You know, this is why I think people ship these two because they're both in the same kind of category of honesty, helpfulness and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, it's just, you know, something along the lines of opposites don't always attract sometimes having things in common with a few differences is enough attraction to to go with and when you take a look at let's say bride of discord and how disney fanatic kind of built upon that it makes a lot of sense because you know she basically uh built upon the fact after spike at your service that applejack is starting to fall for spike because i believe they both have that similar honest to you know honest to goodness feeling of you know being honest with folks as well as you know being helpful and, and all that so in my opinion that's why you know applejack and spike are shipped a lot by others and and i can understand that i mean you know if you um you know if you had no other choice if you were in the role of the writers the creative staff and you thought, okay, who else could you potentially, you know, have Spike, you know, fall for, you know, as a potential love interest, I think it would be Applejack. I mean, as a matter of fact, the creative staff, even during a San Diego Comic-Con, as I've mentioned before, and others have even shown and mentioned before, kind of teased that potentiality that, you know, Spike would be the one that actually had a crush on Applejack more than Rarity. So... I guess it works either way you look at it. But now, coming to coming around to the other ship that's very popular with others, that being Spike and Rarity, you know, themselves, the question is why, you know, do people ship it? Why do people ship this uh, relationship between these two? You know, basically, you know, looking at the fact that, you know, at times it just doesn't feel like it should be a relationship uh, that would work. And I think it all has to do with the fact that, again, Spike is a generous individual. He likes to help others. And Rarity's element in personality is that of generosity. Yes, she does have that bit of diva uh to her. But the thing that conquers that overall is her generosity, is her kind heart. And that basically she's one of those examples that, you know, you can't always judge a book by its cover. Or by the looks and that you know in that in the case of rarity you know that's the truth you know you can't you know judge a book by its cover due to the fact that you know she might look beautiful she might look like a diva 
you know, she might look like somebody that, you know, should be up a tier, up a class and all that and better and, you know, basically believe she's better than everybody else. But, you know, she's not. And that's why I think, you know, they went, you know, Lauren Faust and then later on Megan McCarthy and Nicole Dubuque and all the creative staff that has come and gone and that's worked on the series. You know, I think that's why they continuously kind of teased, if not pushed, the Spike and the Spike and Rarity relationship. Because, you know, yeah, Spike was utilized as our point of view to see how gorgeous the character was, but to also see that even though she looked gorgeous and even though she looked like, a, you know, into a character that might feel like, oh, they're better than everybody else just by her actions at times or by her looks, that that's not the case, and that just like with Spike. She's a very generous individual. She's helpful. You know, she's willing to sacrifice sometimes her needs to help others, especially when it comes to, let's say, you know, getting them the right look, you know, to go by or to go with. Uh, when it comes to, let's say, attending certain events like galas or, you know, ceremonies and stuff like that. So overall, I think it's that. I think it's all that and more. Or basically, in and, and you know, here's the thing: when when it comes to Spike, you know, it's like you could ship him with any member of the main seven, if you will. That includes Starlight, and it's all because he encompasses, I think, little bits of every element or personality each of those characters have, and it just clicks every time he's along with them. But I think the reason they ship him more with Applejack and Rarity, depending on your preference, is because of the similarities in personality of the helpfulness, the honesty, and the generosity, and the kindness that they show, you know, towards others. And I think that's why people, you know, uh, just, you know that's why people like to ship them uh, together, no matter, like I said, what the preference is. I mean, with Rarity also, it's that kind of like that girl of your dreams, girl next door kind of scenario to where, you know, you know, she's so beautiful and she has all this about her that you want to do what you can to win her heart, to get her to notice you. And there are times that Spike goes those distances. And yes, later on, they calmed it down to where, you know, Spike basically is like, you know, look, I'm going to give her a gift from my heart. And that's what he does in Best Gift Ever. And you kind of see that at times reflected, in my opinion, uh, in season nine. I mean, when you look at, what was it? You know, uh, the the episode where Luna and Celestia go on vacation, you know, basically at the beginning, when Spike gets caught up by this giant tortoise eating a tree, Rarity's the first out of the group to run towards him. So to me, they like sprinkled in little elements here and there to kind of indicate that that relationship may have gotten stronger since Best Gift Ever, but that's just, you know, a certain preference. That's just, you know, from a point of view as a fan and someone that does ship these two and loves the romantic ship is, you know, overall. But like I said, I don't have a problem either way. I mean, if they would have gone with Applejack, that would have been good too. And there are several, you know, indications that they could have done that. And I think that's why the creative staff kind of teased that at that panel. Like, you know, maybe that was the original plan. But anyway, though, guys, what are your thoughts? Why do you ship both Applejack with Spike and Rarity with Spike? What are your thoughts overall? Tell me down below in the comments. In the live chat, join the premiere. And I am out.